Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Alright guys, so I had an idea to make a nice big green salad with steak and hard-boiled eggs and I think I saw it on Facebook and it was like a cob salad type thing. So I took a steak out of the freezer. I'm going to fry the steak up or cook it, slice it into slices and then I'm going to whip up a salad and we're going to have that for dinner. Follow me along. Oh, I forgot to mention the steak has been seasoned with cactus dust while it was in the freezer. So, uh, don't mind any noise behind us. We got a live stream going on in the back. Oh, we're on Crazy Irish's live stream. And it is a snow day today. Chris's work got canceled and kids are home. All right, so I had hard boiled these eggs for Chris's lunch for today. I do that every Sunday, and he has two a day, but he has no work, so I'm going to use those for the salad. I'm going to use three eggs, the last three. So I'm going to peel those up, and I'm going to, I'm going to put the peels on here. Don't mind the noise in the background. Um, Crazy Irish is doing a live and Chris and I are on it. And uh, Chris just stepped out for a cigarette on the porch. So he left the computer running. So, but yeah, I think it's the kids' first snow day this year. Um, today's Friday. What day is it? Let me see. Oh, it's the Friday, um, January 7th right now, 2022. And it's their first snow day. We got a lot. Chris went out there this morning. And it's still snowing. It started around 2 this morning, I think. And uh, it's got about 8 inches out there. And I thought the news said like 3 inches. But uh, we got like 8 inches. So Chris went out there and measured, kind of. So look at that. Nice hard-boiled eggs. All right. So, I was at the store yesterday and I saw these finger rolls and I'm going to make up a bunch of tuna ones. Um, and I'm going to try some ham ones with the leftover ham I got. Follow me along on that as well. Alright guys, I'm going to put this steak on here. Let that cook up. And then I'm going to take this ham that was left over and I'm going to grind it up and make a ham salad for some finger sandwiches. All right, so first I think what I'm going to do, I've never made a ham salad, guys. This has never happened. So this is what I've got left for ham. So I'm going to just cut it all up and try to get rid of most of the fat. I have never, ever, ever, ever made ham salad in my life. That looks like a lot of fat, honestly. But I'm going to make... I'm going to probably use my Ninja um, blender to blend it the ham. I'm not using the wooden um, cutting board because I'm going to use that to put the steak on after to... Um, sit and rest before I cut it up into slices for the salad. So I don't want to cross-contaminate it with the ham. But uh, this is what I'm doing, guys. So I'll bring you back after the ham is all cut up and ready to go. Alright, so I'm cooking up this steak. And... It's been on there for a little bit. Flip it over. All right, guys, I forgot to hit record. So I took all the ham that was left 
I mixed it with a little bit of mustard and some mayo and uh, hamburger dill, a hamburger dill uh, right here, bread and butter chip. Um, I'm pulsing it. So. I think it might need a little bit of mayo. Yeah. No more mustard though. I'm not a mustard person. It's 488 here. No, 488. On sale. Sorry, I was talking on a live stream about the price of hamburger. So I just added a little more mayo. See how that is. Do you hear that noise in the background? I'm cooking steak. Seems a little dry. Add. Just getting that squirt. I, whenever I use the squirt bottles, I get it all over my body. <laughs> I think I put too much in here. I should have used a bigger one. I've never made ham salad before, guys. Never. Oops. This thing's coming apart. Maybe we'll try mixing it up by hand. Probably is two combined now. All right. Okay. I think I overcooked it a little. Oh well. It's gonna get sliced up for a steak. So I'm gonna take it out of here. aim it this way I won't keep getting it on my clothes. Add some more mayonnaise in there and get it to be less dry. Can you all see that? Got a lot of noise going on in here. I got water going, my steak cooking in the back to go with a, for a salad. But I never made ham salad before. And we had a little bit of ham left from the ham dinner I made the other night. So, I'm just going to keep working it in there. Let me try and give some to Chris. See what he says. Alright guys, here's my steak. I'm going to let it rest. Then I'm going to cut it into slices to add to a salad for Chris later. Alright guys, so um, this has been sitting for a little while. And I'm going to slice it so that I can get it in strips for the salad.
Mmm. Oh my. That's good. It's going to be a good salad. Mmm. So we'll get this cut up. As you all can see the salad I'm going to make. A steak and... I think they call it cob salad. But anyways, I'm going to put steak, hard-boiled eggs, onions, bacon. Mm-mm-mm. This is all fat. But yummy, yummy. Mm. Oh, my. That's really good. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, making up this salad. I'm going to do it a quick, easy way. I'm just, i got a bag salad mix. I'm using a big bowl because I want to make a big batch so that we can eat it. I had some free coupons for a dole. So I'm gonna just mix up the salad. Sometimes I just like to do it quick and easy. And what I do is I always add some iceberg lettuce to it. of the bag that I have here. Use up what's good. Use what you have, guys. Use what you have. So, just pulling off any discolored pieces that may, because this is still really good. Uh, I don't like the, like, the leafy outer levels. I don't like that. I like the crunchy stuff. So I'm going to stick that in there. I like crunchy salad. I like the big crunchy pieces. So just put that in here. You know, I've been getting lazy lately and not really eating salad, so I'm going to get back to it. And Sierra loves salad. She'll eat it all day long. I love salad. And I find that if I don't make it up ahead of time, I just don't eat it. So I'm going to make up a big batch of it. And we'll be able to pick out it with our dinners. I just have it. It's just how we are here, guys. And I love this crunchy stuff. I eat more salad when it's crunchier and not those outer leaves so much. Okay. So. We love salad. So I just take that and I mix it all up. Get it all incorporated with the bag salad. Sometimes I make it from scratch, but, you know, fresh everything, like, no bag mix, but this time I had some coupons, so I figured, you know what, why not use them up? All right. So now, let's get that all off. I am going to cut up some onion. I have some red onion here. here. This onion had to get used up. Not too many of them like the onion, so I'm just going to put a few.
I like my onions. All right. Then we are going to take eggs that I made. Put that along one side because not everybody likes those in their salad. So we'll just stick them right here. I like them in my salad. So we'll just stick some right here. pieces of steak I'm going to lay those right here bits. Sprinkle a little bit of bacon bits on here. Just threw some bacon bits on there. Now we're going to take some I have coupons for these. salads. I'm kind of just putting what I have around the house. And the cucumbers at this time of the year are not the greatest from the store, I can tell you that. So I'm not even going to probably put any cucumbers. They're just not. Place it down the center so I can get more pieces out of it for your salad. Mm, delish. I'm just going to take the end pieces because those are the fats on the steak. Get those cut off. Nobody likes fatty salad. I can't stop eating it, guys. Yummy, yummy. There's some cold pieces and some that fatty piece off the end. That way, when 
you want one, you can just grab some. I know Sierra won't eat the meat part, so I'm going to leave that over here. So as you can grab from over here. Hmm. La la, this is my big bowl of salad for us to just munch on. I have croutons. Croutons. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I will bring you back when I have it all set up. Alright, so now I'm making the tuna for the um, tuna fish rolls that I'm going to make with the tuna rolls, the ham spread, and the chicken. So, don't mind the background noise. Chris is on the phone with my son. So, um, I am just, I drained my can of tuna. And, uh, I may need a second can. I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, depends on how much everybody eats, you know. Okay, and then I did chop up a small um, little bit of onion. So I have tons of onions I bought at um, the farmer's market yeah, this winter. So I may have him grab me another can of tuna yeah, fish. Yeah, that's, that's a safety piece that uh, I had uh, designed in a crossroads. So that's one thing I was looking at. And then we're going to have only, some mayonnaise. Start out with a little bit for right now. And, uh, mix that up. Whoops, I'm over here spinning it around. You know me, I just get in there with my hands. But yeah, I think it does have a little kick to it, though. All right, and then uh, add a little bit of relish. All these little spoons, guys. I'm not going to add a whole lot. Just a tad bit of relish because uh, I don't want it overpowering. And then I got a little bit of mustard. Not a whole lot. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use this mustard. Where is it? Where is my mustard? I'm going to use Dijon mustard. Let's shake it all up. Just a drop. I may have him get me another can of tuna. I'm down in the basement. What is going on? I'm having trouble. Having trouble, folks. Yeah. Having trouble. Yeah. I'll worry about that later on. Get this all mixed up. Um, then you can watch me put them all in the buns. And uh, we'll have that with our salad that I'm making. And uh, I will bring you back. Let me let me taste this and see. I think I might have to make another can, honestly. Because Chris and I both like tuna. I don't know if the kids do. I don't think they do. Add some salt. And some pepper. Yeah, I know. I've been adding more pepper to my foods lately. I don't know. My taste buds may be changing. Who knows, guys? But, uh, there's a tuna. Let me do a taste test. Let me do a taste test. It's much better when you get it cold. Oh, that's good, though. All right. I think I'm going to put another can. So I'll be back. Talk softer. All right, so I added another can, guys. 
going to add some more mayo. Let that stir it up. Break up the tuna. That tasted really, really good too, the first batch. So I'm adding a second can to it. Yum. I love tuna melts and I do love tuna fish. I don't know why I don't eat it as much, guys. I I should start. I have so much of it downstairs. Okay. Add that. Tuna melt does so good with cheese. Probably don't even really need any more mayo. Let's see. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Get all this mayonnaise off the spoon. Go ahead and use your fingers, guys. It's your food. It's your food. If no one else is eating it but you, use your fingers. Come on now. No need to be so prim and proper. Just going to put another little dab of uh, the relish. Get that in there, add some extra flavor. Maybe another little dab of the uh, Dijon mustard even. Just a little bit, guys. I'm going to square that up. Get it all mixed in there. Got a lot of things going on today. I totally thought it was Sunday, but it's Saturday. Chris is talking about hunting and bows because... I got both of my boys a Barnett uh, bow for Christmas. So now all three of them, Chris, my son Gregory, and my son Casey, all have a bow. So they can go hang out together. Let's see. Mm. I think it needs just a tad more mayonnaise. Just a tad. And maybe some more onion. I'm going to cut up just a little bit more onion. Maybe two slices, two small slices. Because I like to have that little bit of crunch, you know? So we're going to get that onion in there. Cause I love onion, guys. I love onion. Let's see. Add a little more pepper. A little more salt. Hmm. These are gonna be good, guys. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for a little, for a couple hours, and then uh, I'll bring all my my ham, my chicken, and my tuna out, and we'll make up the rolls. All right, so I took the ham spread and the chicken spread, and this I made with my Thrive Life chicken, and I was just stirring it up and making sure it tasted good. And my God, it was really good. Really, really good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more onions to this one. But the ham one is really good. I added a little tiny bit more mayo since it sat. And uh, I'm going to slice up another slice of, some, of uh, onion into little tiny, 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 tiny pieces. And uh, put that in the chicken. 
Just stir that up. That's good, guys. That's good. I added some salt and pepper. You can add whatever kind of seasonings you want. But I'm going to let this sit for a little bit longer because I just made up the tuna. And then I'll have all three together and then we will... Hmm. We will add them to these rolls. We'll have these with our salad. So I will see you all back here. All right, I've never bought these rolls before, so what I'm doing, I'm not sure if it's correct or not, <laughs> is I'm cutting a hole in the middle to put the, put the stuff in. I, I could be doing this wrong, guys. Because I could, maybe I, I'm going to just slice a hole in the middle, but don't leave much room for the stuff. That's why I'm thinking maybe I have to pull out some of this bread. I don't know. So if I'm doing it wrong, don't follow me. Don't follow me. But this is the first time I ever bought these rolls, to be honest. Every time I've had these little finger sandwiches, it's because they've been at a potluck or uh, something going on at work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my chicken salad, let's fill it in here. First time doing this, guys. A lot of carbs in the bread, so if you can't have it, don't do it. But you could scoop it out if you wanted. And then I'm going to put some ham one. Gonna be sitting down and watch a movie. Chris is home on a Saturday. He didn't have to work. So we're gonna watch the movie he got for Christmas from Santa Lee. And we're gonna have a salad, a nice big salad. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have tuna, ham, and chicken. Don't know if the kids will eat any of this, but it's what's on the menu. I'm going to make one more of each. Maybe a couple more of each. I don't know. Because it, it, it's a lot of carbs. So I may just have a little spoon. One of each kind maybe. Or half of each. But I can always have some of this in a little bowl. Without the bread. Right alongside my salad. I know it's a little different. But... We're different in this house, you know. Okay. If there's any tuna left, I may make tuna melt or something tomorrow. I don't know. Or just tuna and crackers or just tuna without anything. Less carbs that way. Okay. So. There's that. A bowl of shrimp that I deveined and got all flawed out. Mm -mm -mm. This is our Saturday spread, guys. A nice salad. Look at this salad. Yum! Some shrimp, some finger sandwiches, some Olive Garden crumb bread uh, croutons, and the grated Romano cheese they use. All our salad dressings. Chris even laid out the pretty forks. <sighs> etiquette, etiquette, he's put down. This is his dinner etiquette setting. <laughs> <laughs> he wants my butt to get over there so we can watch the movie, right? Oh, yeah, I want to eat. Okay, go ahead. Right. Come and get it, guys. Salad and food. Chicken. You're eating one of those ham ones, too. 
I think he's afraid it's spam, but it's not spam. It, it's not spam. It better not. It's not. You saw the leftover ham I had in the fridge. You cut the ham up yourself, remember? And I, I lovingly did those shrimps for you, so you better eat them things. He's getting hooked. Rolling at you. He's getting hooked on shrimp. I, he takes it for lunch and he mixes it with dressing. I think he said. Italian dressing, pretty good. I won't touch the Italian dressing out of work because it's been sitting in there since 2019. Well, that's why I buy these. You can always take these. I got whole bunches of these downstairs. You want me to save these ones for your work? If you want, I just pour them in a bag. Oh well, all right, never mind, because we got plenty of bottles of those too. He's making his grub. Never throw away those leftovers. These are the leftover croutons from New Year's. And they're so stuffed because I put them in a baggie. This is his plate, people. This is his plate. Yummy. We're going to go sit down and watch The Fast and Furious, the last movie that they made so far. I'm going to stab you. Well, he wants to stab me because he's not getting to watch his movie in 2.2 .2 seconds. How's the dinner? Good.